All right, we're trying to simplify this expression. It has some fractions in it, um, but we don't have to be afraid of fractions because we have calculators that'll do them for us. Now this one, oh, let me rewrite it so we can really see it here. X to the 3 sevenths, Y to the 4 sevenths is in parentheses to the first power over X to the 1 eighth, Y to the 1 seventh. Now, since it's just the power of one, anything to the power of one is just itself. So we can go ahead and remove the parentheses and remove the one. All right, from here, um, we see that we have a group of X's on one on the top, one on the bottom. So using the quotient rule for exponents, we want to subtract 3 sevenths minus 1 eighth. So I'm going to take my trusty calculator here, and unfortunately I can't show you what I'm doing, but I'm going to do 3 over 7 minus 1 over 8. And um, I get a decimal, but if I, depending on what kind of calculator you have, like I'm using a TI-83, if I hit math, enter, enter, it's going to change it for me. So I get x to the... 17 over 56. So it takes care of the common denominator and everything for you. And then these y's, the exponents using the quotient rule, we subtract the fractions. Now since they have the same denominator, it's easy. It's just 4 minus 1. So we get y to the 3 sevenths. And since we only have, um, you're not done these problems until you only have one of each base. We only have one X and one Y, and the exponents are simplified. There's no negative exponents, so we are finished.